Hey my lovely Serene Dream here with another Fill Me In General Energy reading. And if you're new to my channel, this reading can resonate whenever you find it. It is timeless. It can resonate with you for the day, the week, the month, or even the year. Um, but do keep in mind it is a general message, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So only take what resonates, leave what does not, reverse the messages if that's how it fits your situation. And if you have not checked out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year, your love forecast for the rest of the year, you can go ahead and view the links below um, to my Vimeo page to view those readings. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, the link to that information can be found below as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance. And let's go ahead and get into your messages for this time. Okay, give me a moment to process this message. I feel like something is... It's like from an... From an ending comes a very beautiful beginning. Something I, I get this energy like you all have been you have been you've gone through a very hard time recently and it could have lasted for a while. And I feel like at the time at this time you're finally coming out of that darkness into the light. Like things are starting to finally look up. You can finally be it's more than hopeful because I feel like it's not so much of like having hope. It's it's like things are happening now. You're coming out of the dark. You're coming out of the hard time. Yeah. It's like the struggle of the past is that it's just that it's in the past. I don't feel like you're going to have to struggle anymore. I'm getting, I'm hearing mentally. So some of you could have been mentally struggling, emotionally struggling, you know, physically struggling, financially struggling. I just get that there, and there could have been a mo like a um, a combination of multiple types of struggle. But in all, I feel like it was taking a toll on your mental. It was in a sense driving you crazy because you just couldn't. I'm getting like you couldn't figure out one end or the like. Things were just. I'm getting like the walls were closing in on you so much to the point that you couldn't figure out one side from the other like one end from the other it just felt like everything was piling up and usually I'm getting like you will be able to prioritize and you know well more so like compartmentalize and figure things out that way like okay let me handle this this day and this this I feel like you couldn't really do that because it just felt like everything just kept piling up piling up and I felt like you were almost in a sense buried by your problems buried by the struggle and um yeah so it's like you couldn't find your way out because it was just too much piling up at once one thing that this did teach you is just how strong you are it shows you i kept getting you know i kept getting the um the reba a theme song in my head for like days and I would just randomly start singing it and I feel like that message applies here um I forget like gosh now that I'm on like now that I'm trying to repeat it to you guys it's like I can't recall the lyrics but I know she says I'm a survivor uh I feel like I need to look up the lyrics though It's a part, um, it says, single mom who works two jobs, who loves who loves her kids and never stops with gentle hands and the heart of a fighter. I'm a survivor. Yeah. And the full song is just talking about like Reba's struggle, like from the time she was born, like she was born prematurely. Doctor says she wouldn't live. Yeah, I, th I feel like that song is very much the tone of this reading. I feel like you all were going through something. The struggle you were going through, I feel like the average person would not be able to make it out of. And there could have even been people who counted you out. I feel like I'm also getting like for some of you, there could have been people who were purposely like trying to make your life hard they were purposely piling on you and 
when they see you come out, like make it out of that rubble, it's like they're going to be shocked and feel like, how are you, how did you survive? And it's like, you're going to come out like, I'm a survivor. Of course I was going to survive. It's like they thought they were going to be able to bury you, to drown you. And they're just going to be so shocked that they didn't succeed because nobody survives that. It, I get like this energy, like people were kicking you when you were down. It's like you were already going through a hard time just by yourself with things that were going on in your life that didn't include other people. And then like people were coming in and piling on issues. It's like they saw that you were down or in some spiritual way felt that you were down and they just figured like, well, let me just add on some things and just make sure that you just never come back. I get like, I don't know, I'm getting like this, somebody who hates you. Like, and I feel like you didn't really do anything to this person, but I feel like this person, like they have a lot of envy. Like there's a lot of jealousy I'm picking up with one person in particular and they can't, it's like they just want to see you fall. Like they want to see you drown. It's like this person hates to see you happy. They hate to see you succeed. So when they saw a moment where you were drowning, where you were, you know, falling and things weren't looking great for you, it's like they decided that they were going to add on to that to make sure that you never come out of this. But again, you're going to come out of this and I feel like you're going to come out shining. It's going to be as if you were never even buried under the rubble like it's going like you're going to come out without a scratch like looking and feeling very pristine and it's just going to shock the mess out of these people or this particular person and i feel like when you start to move forward again into this new beginning that's being birthed from this very hard uh struggle ending I feel like you're going to do something. I feel like you're going to be even more admirable. I feel like you were admirable before, like the way you moved in life, the things you did, the way you carried yourself, maybe what you accomplished. But I feel like when you come out of this rubble, the fact that you not only survived it, but the way you keep moving forward and the things you're about to do is going to make you seem like even more of a mythical creature. And um, like I said, you're going to have like, it's going to be something very admirable about what you're doing. You're going to have people admiring you. And I don't mean just in like a romantic suitor type of way. I feel like that that would come with the territory too. But I just feel like people who just kind of watch you from afar, not in a romantic way, but it's like, wow, like they really are an inspiration. And I keep, I'm hearing the Teddy Pendergrass lyrics, um, more beautiful than the Mona Lisa from Latest Greatest Inspiration. So I, again, I feel like that speaks to, um, I feel like that speaks to like the way you're going to come out of this. You're going to come out shining and very beautiful. And like I said, being an inspiration to many, the fact that you survived this and you were able to move forward and turn it into something great. It's like you're coming out of this with like a purpose, with the direction. When you were under that rubble, when you were, when all of this stuff was piled onto you and you were underneath it and you couldn't breathe, I feel like you were planning. Like you, I don't know if you had like a vision or something when you were going through this. It's like you knew, it, you felt like, okay, when I, I don't even feel like it was a matter of like, if I come out of this, I feel like you had the, the type of um, mentality of like, when I come out of this, this is what I'm going to do. It's like you were given a vision or given some sort of like idea. Like you just had like a sudden inspiration and say like, okay, this is the direction you need to head in once this is over. And I feel like you're heading in that direction. Like the minute you come out, it's like, you're not wasting any time. You're doing what you, you're doing what you were inspired to do when you were down. Yeah, I don't get any, nothing or no one is going to be able to stop you. I feel like they're still going to try. Um, there could be someone who is still trying to get in the way and hinder you, but I feel like they're not even, they're not even going to be a consequence at all. Whatever they attempted, their little attempt 
it you know thwarted you for a moment but it didn't keep you down permanently and the minute they try to try something else to put you down or hinder you it's like those efforts are gonna just it's like you're gonna be able to just brush them off like okay get out of my face type of thing yeah you're gonna be sitting really pretty your life is about to become very amazing and i feel like you definitely are going to have a testimony to share like all of this happened to you because you have you're going to have one of the greatest testimonies like of anybody you know and um yeah it's definitely like this energy of like if i can do it you can do it you're going to serve as, as an inspiration to others like when they hear your story and everything you've been through and just how I'm hearing unfortunate things were for a moment and even like I want to say like even how it may have even looked or seemed impossible what you were going through to come out of that I just get like there are going to be people just like so shocked but so in awe of you like all that you and I get like it, it's something very like what makes this even more special is that you're some sort of like minority going through this. So this could be like, you know, your to be able to accomplish what you did coming from where you come from and also like the background that you have, whether it be your like you being a woman and coming out of this and surviving all of this by yourself, you being a person of color, um, you being a person of a certain age, you know, who people feel, you know, you're too young or you're too old to do something. I just get like there's that there's that factor included in this whole awe inspiring energy that's surrounding you as well. Yeah, I'm hearing you figured it out. Even if you haven't come out of this difficult moment yet or this difficult um energy yet, I feel like you again, you free like you know what you're gonna do. You have a plan, you figured it out, you know exactly what you have to do as soon as you come out of this, and you're gonna be well on your way immediately the minute you come out without a scratch. I get like you don't you're not going to look like what you've been through. So that is also going to be why when people hear your story, they're going to be like really shocked because you don't look like you struggled a day in your life. Like you look very beautiful. You look very put together. And I don't mean just like beautiful aesthetically that too, but I get like, there's something about your spirit that is still very soft, um, very loving. Like people may when they hear your story, they will feel like, I don't understand how you even have the capability to still love and forgive people with everything you've gone through. Especially like if they hear, like if you include certain people, um, it, like the people who tried to keep you down and maybe these people, you know, you still express love for them or something. And people will be like, I don't know how you can even love this person when they treated you like that or they did this and that to you it's not to say that you're being a fool and keeping this person around in a close capacity mm -hmm. but I just get that even if you don't mess with them anymore even if you are keeping them at a distance you still you don't hate them and I just get like people are going to be like really struck by that the fact that you're able to forgive and actually still like show and express love to people and just be a loving caring person because they feel like your experience should have hardened you and for the average person it would have it would have turned them into a monster a villain and I feel like that's not what happened to you that's not what's going to happen to you it's like you keep your heart soft and that's the most beautiful gift of all like that's what makes you the most beautiful is your heart is your most beautiful feature. And I feel like because you're so beautiful inside, that's why like your outside is also very beautiful as well. So that's why you're not going to look like what you've been through. And you're not even going to act like what you've been through. All of it is just going to be like an anomaly. Like people never seen this before. This is like this is why you're so awe-inspiring because they're just like, I've never heard of or seen somebody who went through what you did, who was counted out as you were or like struggled as much as you did and reach this level. Because I get something about like, you're going to reach a very high level in your life, whatever that level may be for you. 
And I get like, you're going to have this ever grateful spirit. Like you're never going to have a moment in your life where you, you know, you're living your life and doing everything that, um, you know, you dreamt of doing or you were shown that you will be doing in the future. Like you're in the life that you're meant to live. You're never going to have a moment where you just kind of like have this haughty attitude or this entitled attitude. It's like you're going to be like ever so grateful for everything. Like you're just very, you're a very loving being. I'm picking that up. Again, it's your heart. Your heart is very beautiful. And I feel like because of that, like you're going to be so appreciative of every moment, of every moment you're given, every everything, every gift, every person that enters your life that pours into you, every opportunity you're given. You just have this very gracious, very grateful attitude about it. And people, they notice that about you as well. I'm hearing somebody say never change. Like somebody in your life could really, um, when you come out of this, they could really compliment you and tell you like, you know, you're, you're so beautiful. You're so inspiring. Like you're so strong. Like your strength is so inspirational and never change, never change a single thing about yourself. They're going to give you the encouragement not that you really need it, but it's just like extra, you know, affirmations that you are doing the right thing, that you're handling this in the right way. And I also get something about justice. So I feel that um, everyone who has wronged you, I don't feel like you're going to have to do the reason why you can be so gracious and have this ever loving, caring heart and be forgiving is because God he's got you. What I'm getting from this is that everybody who wronged you or tried to wrong you, they're going to receive some serious karma. I feel like you're going to see so many people, so many of those people who tried to like harm you in any way, whether it be physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you're going to see all these people fall one by one. Like they're going to receive some major like karma, like God is giving you just like God is seeing to it that all these people like they're bring he's bringing all these people to justice for you. You don't have to lift a finger. You don't have to speak a word. This is why you can go about your life merrily, happily, and you don't have to worry about like seeing your your quote unquote enemies, you know, thriving while you're, I just get like, you don't even think like on that level. Cause you, j I feel like somewhere inside of you, you've always known that you were protected on this level. So that's why you never cared about revenge. You never thought like about like, oh, I need to see to it that this person falls and feels the pain that I do. You don't need to spread that. Cause you're like, I know it's 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 almost like you feel sorry for the people whenever they try to do something to you. I feel like you feel sorry for them before anything even happens to them because you know what's coming. You know the karma that that's about to come for them because they touched you, because they put their mouth on you. These people didn't know how like greatly you were protected. It's like the minute they started to try this little, you know, mess with you and try to hurt you or put you down or whatever, God was already writing their, you know, their karma certificate. And trust me, the karma that they get is not some little, you know, some little like, you know, I don't know, misfortune or difficult moment. It's like when they fall, they're going to fall. I feel like they're going to fall to the point that they can't get back up. They're going to see you shining and thriving and wish they never touched you, wish they never, you know, put their mouth on you in that way. It's because this could even be people who are trying to like curse you, you know, through their mouth. Um, I'm getting that, like trying to speak negative things over you. So it, even if they didn't try to physically harm you or do something to get in your way, it's like they could have just been like on the sidelines, like hating, just like I wish that they just, 
fall you know i wish that they don't make it or something like that and it's like that was them speaking curses over your life and god saw all of that he heard all of it and he's about to bring all of them to justice they are they're gonna fall and they're not gonna be able to get back up and i don't feel like you're gonna have a moment where you're laughing at them either you're gonna pity them because in your mind, you're going to be saying to yourself, like, when it was happening, when they were doing what they were doing, it's like you were shaking your head. Like, you didn't even know what's coming for you. You knew what was coming. They thought they were going to get away with it. And um, what they didn't realize is some of the, I'm getting like, they didn't realize that you couldn't be played. You knew this. They didn't know this. These people thought they could get over on you. They thought that they could, you know, hurt you without any kind of repercussions. And it's like now they're going to realize that they can't play you. They can't get one over on you. You, out of all the people they've done this to, like you are the one person that they should have never touched. You are the one person they should have never put their mouth on because it is no coming back from the, like, something about you is very special to God. Like, you are very special to God. And so you are a chosen one. I'm just going to say that I'm getting that very strongly. Whoever I'm speaking to, you are a chosen one. And whenever you mess with God's chosen ones, it's like you're just expect, like, you're just writing your death certificate in a sense. Like, you're just asking for your life to just fall to ashes and that's exactly what's about to happen to these people or this person they're about to see their life fall apart and they're never going to be able to get it back together it's like Humpty Dumpty saw on the wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again I used to love that nursery rhyme but I feel like that definitely applies here like that that is exactly how these people are going to like what's going to happen to them they're going to have a great fall and nothing is going to be able to repair them they're not going to be able to pick themselves back up even if they get to a level where they can just kind of walk again it's like they're never going to get back to that level that they were they're just going to be like operating there i feel like they're going to go through like a life like a lifelong struggle they're never going to come back from what they did to you it's just that's how God made it. That's how much you're protected. That's how much God doesn't play about you. Because like I say, you cannot be played. You cannot be touched. And this is why you can keep your heart soft, like I said, because you know you don't have to get your own justice. You don't have to exact revenge on anybody because God does it for you. And because you know God loves you and God works through you, this is why like your heart is what it is. This is why it's so beautiful why you're such a beautiful person. Okay, so that's about all I have for you all for this general energy reading. I hope it was um, helpful to you. Again, if you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year or your love forecast for the rest of the year, you can go ahead and click on the Vimeo links below to view those. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website can be found below as well. And follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for daily guidance, and I'll be back with my readings, lovelies. Bye.